following program, A Study in the Word, is presented by the Jimmy Swaggart Ministries. Join with us as we exalt the Lord Jesus Christ in the next half hour of anointed Bible teaching on The Tabernacle, God's Pattern for Living. Brother Swaggart explains the tabernacle in the wilderness, its articles and symbols, and how they relate to present-day man. This series is geared specifically to help you learn more about living the Christian life each and every day. And now, with today's program, here's evangelist Jimmy Swagger. Welcome today to A Study in the Word. We are on something that is tremendously interesting, and I believe that it is to you as well. We're studying the brazen labor. Somebody said that the penalty of sin was taken care of at the brazen altar, right there. I want to say that again. The penalty for sin was taken care of at the brazen altar. The cleansing from sin is taken care of at the brazen laver. And that's very important. It's so important, I want to say it again. Penalty handled here, cleansing, which is needed constantly handled here. You don't need the penalty of sin taken care of every day. It, it, it doesn't happen that way. To be frank with you, it, it should be handled one time. And that's it. Should be, I said. One time. Penalty here, but cleansing is a daily need. A daily need. And so that's what we really want to study today. The, the cleansing which so many Christians are ignoring and they ignore it to their peril. Because that book specifically stated, and you can say, well, it's Old Testament, it doesn't matter. But it was a type and a shadow of what was to come. God said to Moses, if those priests, and, and now, and Glenn told me to be sure and bring this out before the program, and he's exactly right. You say, well, that's just for the priests. Well, today we are all members of the royal priesthood. That's, right. that's what redemption did. It made it possible not only for the priests to go in this thing, but all of us are now priests. Amen. And can, go, can you find that scripture? Yeah, Revelation, it, well, it's Revelation 1, 5 and 1 Peter 2, 5. Well, read 1 Peter 2, 5. That's the one I want. All right. And, 1 uh, Peter 2, 5 or 1 Peter 2, 9. You are a chosen generation. A royal, royal priesthood. Okay, that's the one I want. Priesthood. A holy nation, a peculiar people. You've quoted sure. it. Now read it. Okay. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. I like that. Yeah. A peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. In Revelation 1, uh, J J Jesus, uh, John said, Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and to his Father hath made us kings and priests. Okay, so do, do you understand this now? Wherein in, in the old economy of God, only these priests could go in here. Only the priests and only the great high priest could go into the Holy of Holies and that once a year. The, the priests could go in this place. They went in it all day and all night attending to the particular duties. The, the, the ordinary people that you see out here, if I can find uh, an example, out here, they could go only as far as right there. They couldn't go to there, and they couldn't even go in here. But today, as Glenn just read, and as Peter brought it out, we are all, once we've come to Jesus now, he's opened up the way that whosoever will may come and drink of the water of life freely. We're all...